Hi, this is Emma with Zelch Family Homestead. And I just wanted to kind of touch base with you. Oh gosh, that saying, touch base, reminds me of Rethemeyer's. If you're from this area, you probably know the Rethemeyer's. They both passed on now, Johnny and Jerry. Just great people. Anyway, <laughs> thought I'd touch base with you about how I'm doing with my uh, eating less breads, sugars, sodas. Soda, no problem. I'm, I'm good. I don't even want one yet. Sugar, I'm doing okay. I would say I'm doing better this morning than last night. Last night we went on a little trip and I found half of a Hershey's chocolate bar in my crochet bag. So guess what I did? I went ahead and munched on it, ate it, a whole half a candy bar. Mmm, tasted so good. And you know, you know what? It didn't take very long and my stomach was upset. So maybe that's telling me, hey, you're doing good without it and you don't need it. So I'll get right back on there and do that and won't have my sugars. Very good. Breads, I'm doing pretty good with that. Uh, I made communion bread for church. That's really hard. <laughs> Cause you make bread and then I sliced off a chunk cause I make whole loaves of bread for communion. And then I slice off a big old chunk of it. And when it's time for communion, we each just take, take a small piece of it, you know, like somebody would with a wafer, but we use just regular bread. So I took the rest of the loaf and the second loaf that I made and sliced it up. And do you know how hard it was to not take that end piece of bread that you're just used to taking and lathering it up with a bunch of butter <coughs> and eating it oh my goodness that was rough but I didn't do that so okay the only bread I've had in five days is a tortilla shell that I just ate I was just about to make some sausage and eggs for lunch and Clyde called and he said hmm I'm looking at a job and they have this little Mexican um, taco truck in town. Let me pick up something for lunch. How about a taco salad? I said, oh, that sounds good. So he got me a taco salad. Um, so I ate the taco shell, but that's the only bread I've had in five days. Now, so for five days, I'm down three pounds. I feel much better other than after I ate that chocolate candy bar. No, it was only half a candy bar. How can that affect you so much? But maybe when you go days without sugar and then you have some, that's telling me something. That's telling me my body does not need it, doesn't want it, doesn't like it. So, okay, I can, I can handle that. We just won't be having that. Um, so down three pounds, feel much better. My face is, you see how red it is. It's warm right now, but that's okay. There's a little breeze and I enjoy sitting on the porch. So that's what I'm doing. Chickens are running around. Yeah, I'll be feeding them something here and again in just a little bit. They'll like that. Our roosters seem to crow all day long. I don't know. We uh, had a friend of Clyde's come out and he's Muslim and the roosters were really crowing and he's like oh my gosh and we're like what he says you have so many roosters crowing he says you are so blessed and we're like well we know we are but why do you think we are he says because when a rooster crows that means that's I think he said that's an angel flying above. I think that's what he said. 
It's an angel or a spirit, one of the two. But isn't that something? Everybody has different beliefs. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> that just popped into my mind because the rooster was crowing a minute ago. Um, it's a nice warm day here in Missouri. And I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling good. How are you doing? What have you been up to? Are you trying out this um, lower carb, less bread, less sugar, soda with me? How are you doing on it? It's kind of a different lifestyle, but I think it's good. I think it's good. Like I said, we went on a little trip, so we got to stay overnight in a motel. I love staying overnight in a motel. And when it was, it wasn't time for breakfast yet, and we'd already been up a long time. So we decided, oh, we'll just go early. We'll just leave and go home, go ahead and go home early and get there, get our chores done. So they normally have a continental breakfast, really nice continental breakfast. But we was too early for that anyway. So Clyde said, well, they got some stuff out. They got hard-boiled eggs, they got yogurt, they got fruit and muffins and things like that. So let's just grab something and then we can go. We can eat it on the way home. So I looked and I looked. Didn't feel like an egg because we have chickens. We have lots of eggs. I thought a muffin, mm -hmm. no, because there's, there's my breads, there's my sugar. So I thought, no, so I passed that up. So we settled on two bananas and two apples. That's what we got. So we each ate a banana on the way home. Apples are there for a treat for later. Very nice. Um, what else is going on? Looks like the sun is gonna pop out. Yeah, tomorrow's supposed to be warmer, but rainy. We have a happy birthday party. One of the grandkids is turning five. So we got kids and grandkids coming out tomorrow, family, friends. So that should be a big, big day, busy day. I guess I better get back up and get to cleaning. I'm gonna work on cleaning my grill off. That's never fun, but it needs to be done. So I'll take care of that. And God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.